the season. Christmas has always been a special time for me, even as a kid. If it's not the festive atmosphere or the various Christmas parties going on, it's time spent with family. And when people get together, they're either watching sports or Christmas movies. It's almost become a custom that every Christmas someone is putting out a humorous Christmas movie to cash in on the season. While I enjoy some of these, my personal tastes favor a more dramatic fare. To that end, here are three of my favorite Christmas time movies. Okay, so a cartoon about a grumpy green furry thing probably doesn't come to mind when you think dramatic fare. Plus, it's not even a movie, it's a cartoon. But there is a message in How the Grinch Stole Christmas that really hammers home the sentiment of the season. The Grinch thought he could end Christmas by taking away all the elaborate trappings that came with the holiday. Yet, when the Who's woke in the morning, they gathered in celebration of the day singing songs and being merry anyways. It was a message of showing gratitude for what they had, finding fellowship in one another. His beliefs shattered, the sentiment expressed by the Who's fundamentally changes the Grinch and he becomes a new man, a creature, whatever. The beauty of this epic cartoon lies not only in the story, but the narration provided by Boris Karloff and the music sung by the legendary voice of Tony the Tiger their old Ravenscroft. Sometimes it feels like there are a thousand versions of Charles Dickens' seminal story. Only a few of them stand out in my mind, my favorite being the 1984 version, which was made for TV. Starring George C. Scott as Scrooge, the film was a joint British and American production loaded with legendary stars. Angela Pleasant as the Ghost of Christmas Past, Edward Woodward as the Ghost of Christmas Present, Frank Finlay as Marley, Roger Rees as Fred Hollywell, and David Warner and Susanna York as the Cratchits. While his American accent still lingers in his delivery, Scott delivers a fantastic nuanced portrayal of the miserly old man as he finds redemption while maintaining a certain level of dignity. The interplay between Scott and Woodward, however, is really the highlight of the production, these two powerhouse actors sort of dueling during their time together. When the ghost of Christmas past comes around, you start to really feel for poor old Scrooge. The only weak spot in the movie was the casting of Warner and York as the Cratchits. These two were not very convincing as poor and humble laborers, each bringing a certain presence to their role, but that's the only weak spot in this excellent production. My favorite Christmas movie, however, is the 2005 film titled The Nativity Story. There are very few Christian movies I really enjoy. The first is Risen with Ray Fiennes. The other is The Nativity Story. Both are outstanding movies all on their own with excellent writing and production. Starring Keisha Castle-Hughes as Mary, Oscar Isaacs as Joseph, the actors do a fantastic job pulling off the portrayal of their characters. Mary is humble and meek, though a little resentful that she is being married off to a man she barely knows. Isaac really does a fantastic job with Joseph, who desires Mary and is utterly crushed when the specter of infidelity, Mary's pregnancy, is made public. Mind you, I said specter of infidelity, not actual infidelity itself. Karen Hines does a fantastic job as the paranoid and scheming Herod, as he does with all of his roles, and the actors who play the three wise men really do steal the show. At the end, with the birth of Jesus, I truly have a hard time not getting choked up. The music also plays a part, the soundtrack really laying a foundation for the rest of the film. If you haven't seen The Nativity Story, you are not only missing out on a great movie, 
but an excellent representation uh, for the season. And those are my three favorite Christmas time movies. If you have your favorites, post them in the comments below. And that's it for this video. Merry Christmas to you, uh, Happy Hanukkah, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.